Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this shadow text effect in your IN device using Pistach and Pixelab. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so now we are in Pixelab and at first I'm going to create a text. For that, go to the text section and tap on edit. And here type anything you want. I'm going to type text just like that and tap on OK. Alright. And now I'm going to choose the font for that. Screw all the way to the right side. And right here tap on the font. Build my fonts. And here you should find Origram just over here. You can find it all link in the description. All right. And now I'm going to change its color. For that, let's go back to the left side, right over here. Tap on that. Now tap on this plus icon to add the color. And now tap on this pencil icon. And in here, type DD505B. And now tap on the tick mark. And tap on OK. All right. And now I'm also going to add a stroke for that. For that, scroll back to the right side. And here you should find a stroke just over here. Tap on that and enable it. And from here, choose the color just created right now. And change the stroke to somewhere around 8 maybe. Yeah, that looks fine. And now I'm going to align it to the center for that. Tap on here. And align it horizontally and vertically all right now go to the background section just over here and choose transparent and now i'm going to save it to a gallery and for the best quality choose ultra just over here So now we are in Peace Touch and at first I'm going to create a blind project by tapping on the plus icon and choosing OK. Alright. And now we have this transparent background and I'm going to create the background for that. Tap on here and choose gradient. And now tap on here. And change the gradient from liner to circular. And tap on the black color. And change the brightness to 60% just type over here all right and now all you have to do is tap on hold right here and drag it out just like this all right and now just take tap on the tick mark all right and now we have this very soft gray background and now I'm going to add a text for that tap on the plus I can choose folder here and from here you find the pixel up folder and just add the picture just exported from the pixel up and just tap on the take more all right make sure that the marquee selection tool is selected and i'm going to zoom in and just select this part of the text just as i'm doing right now now tap on the plus icon and choose layer from selection and that's it now go to the selection panel and choose select pixels and now all you have to do is fill it with a gradient color for that tap on here and choose gradient and tap on here and change the gradient back to the liner and tap on the gray now tap and hold on the color picker over here and select the text color and do the same with the other color just tap and hold and drag it over here and release all right and this time change the brightness to 60 percent all right now all i have to do is to align this line with the shape for that place this one over here and tap and hold this bottom one and drag it all the way up 
right over here and that's it I'm just going to align it just a bit more yeah that's fine I just tap on the tick mark all right now I'm going to do the same with the other side All right, and now what you have to do is go to this section and just tap on this icon to reverse the gradient color just like that all right and now for the letter E I'm going to do the same and choose the bottom part with the micro selection tool just like this and as you can see we have selected the part that we don't need actually and for that I'm going to select the polygon selection tool right over here and make sure to activate this minus icon over here to the select the area that we don't need and very really easily just make a selection around the part that we don't need just <coughs> like this all right and now I'm going to do the same as we did with the letter T left from selection now select pixels from over here and now I need to fill it with a gradient color and that's it I'm going to do the same with the other parts too all right and then choose back the micro selection tool and before you select the other part make sure to deactivate this minus icon over here and that's it All right, so now all you have to do is to align this gradient line with the shape just with it with the letter T and make it vertical just like this. All right. Alright, so now for the letter X, I'm going to choose the polygon selection tool. Make sure to not choose the last selection tool and deactivate the minus icon. And I'm also going to use the pointer. Just tap over here once. And tap and hold in this side. And release it right over here. And just make selection around this part. And now just simply do the same. Select the text layer. Tap on the plus icon. Layer from selection. And now select pixels. And now gradient. And just simply align it with the shape. Just like this. I have to drag it over here. And this one right over here and that's it now do the same with the rest of the parts that's what I'm looking for And now we are done and as you can see over here we have all the shadows in separate layers you can change them anytime you want now I'm going to create a drop shadow for that 
and go and create an into layer and from the toolbox choose the focus solution tool right over here and just make a selection underneath the text just like this one all right now tap on the selection panel and choose feather and I'm going to increase it to be about 20 or 21 maybe yeah that's fine and now just simply fill it with the color go to the fill and a stroke and tap on the color and change brightness to 20% just like that alright now I'm going to deselect the selection for that up on the selection panel and choose this way and now I'm going to simply just duplicate it and bring it underneath all the text layers just duplicate it and move it right over this side all right, and now to resize it make sure to deactivate this icon over here now just simply drag it to the side to increase it from the size just like this all right and now I'm going to simply do the same with the all letters Now I'm going to merge all these shadow layers together for that type on the layers panel and right over here and tap on merge down until you merge down all the layers together just like this all right and choose that all right and now as you can see I have all the shadow layers in one layer and now tap on the effects right over here and choose gushing below and increase it maybe until 30 or 35 no maybe just a little more yeah I think 40 is a good number for that yeah that's fine and just tap on the take more and I'm going to resize it and make it a bit more thinner just like this yeah that looks fine and just tap on the take more and we are done over here and as you can see we have all these layers over here and now all you have to do is to save it to your gallery just tap on the back icon and choose save thanks for watching guys but before we finish make sure to subscribe and tap on the bell icon do not miss any further updates.